rocking and rolling. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here because I love MMA. You're here because you love MMA. Welcome to the Kobe Show Combat MMA Show. We're back. UFC is back in action. No more waiting, except for after next week. We have to wait. But it's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Kobe Show Combat MMA Show. We got the three large topics coming up. We're talking about today: John Jones' return, Leon Rocky Edwards' his return fight against Kamaru Usman finally announced, and we talk about how awesome the main event was. Uh, the entire card, actually, main event was all right, whatever. And then we talk about our parlay. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Then we give our fighter of the week every week. We get a fighter of the week from the events, the guy that you all need to look out for, the guy you might not have worried about, but now he's the number one dog everyone's talking about. And then we cap it all off of the night. Uh, Yeah, cap it all off with a little bit of surprises. Let's talk about it. Let's jump straight into it. John Bones Jones. Woo! Fighting Cyril Gaon March, what is it, March 11th, 12th, 13th? In Vegas for the actual UFC heavyweight title. They stripped Francis Agano. They said, all right, Francis, you're gone. We're not going to let you box. We're not going to give you 10, 15, 20 million for a fight. And they let him walk. They stripped his title and let him walk. So, yeah, that's tough. And I genuinely believe it's all come down to the dollar amount with the boxing attached. I think he would have taken even a regular deal if they said, all right, regular deal, this much a fight, no more than whatever, whatever that they said, and you could box. If you want to box, you could box. Stay in the UFC, stay champ, fight John Jones, and you could box. I think he would have 100% accepted it. I think that would have led all of this down the water, and we got to see that amazing fight, but it's all good. We have these two beasts fighting. I created a package of these two fuckers brawling and showing how good they are and how bad of matchups they are for each other. Whew, Johnny Bones Jones versus Serial Gone, ladies and gentlemen. Holy hell. Let's take a look at this. Tie of Mace. Oh, that He's shelling up now as the big bombs are coming. We're a legit monster. This is just oof. And so is John Jones. Holy hell, I'm so hyped for this shit. The greatest of all time. The greatest light heavyweight, undoubtedly. No one's ever even gotten close. Period. Fights. The monster in heavyweight. The monster, the technical beast, the number two greatest. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is amazing. And it's done. This fight is going to be amazing. It's going to be monumental. It's going to be flashy and exciting. And I can't wait. I just can't wait. These guys are just murderers. Oh. We all know what he did. We all know. This fight being announced is huge news. Huge. This is literally the biggest heavyweight fight in the history. I think it outperforms the pay-per-view buys from Francis's fight with Cyril. And I think the sky's the limit, truly. Whoever wins this... Is going to be the next big star in the UFC. If you take down John Jones convincing fashion, unlike anyone's ever done, Cyril, you have a star. We have a star on our hands. I'm super excited for this fight. Speaking of big fights, Kamar Dean, you got your hands full. Leon Rocky Edwards versus Kamar Uzman. Even better, Justin Gaethje and Rafael Fiziev are the co main event for that one. Holy hell. This is going to be a great month of fighting. When March hits, March 1, just know we're, we're in the midst of amazingness. I will never forget that night watching Leon Edwards do the absolute unthinkable. And even to top it off, Kamaru's response was amazing if you guys haven't fucking seen it. it was this is just simply amazing. This dude was, he did not I created care. this little package. He was mean. He was nasty. He was competitive. He was vindictive. Oh, good job, Rocky. See you soon. <laughs> Cheers. Good job, Rocky. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. When the stadium then See happen. You See you soon. But fuck. This fight is going to be amazing. Who's going to win? I don't know. I don't care. It's a legendary 
third fight, another one, another trilogy coming down as one of the greatest potentially. I'm so excited. Let's go, Kamaru. Let's go, Leon. Bring the war. London, you guys have yourself a hell of a main event. Congrats to you guys. I'm jealous as fuck. Or just whatever. And we're moving back on. UFC fight night. I think it was 67. Imavov versus Strickland. We had a we had a great fight night. It was really good. My boy Sean Strickland, you guys laughed at me. You guys said, you guys said a lot. You said a lot. You downplayed it. And I'm telling you, Sean Strickland is going to be champ. One way or another, he's fighting for a title. As a fact, I will give you guys by this year, early next year. Doesn't matter. He's going to bring the pain in every fight. He's too exciting to not want to give all these great matchups. I think UFC hit it great when when they had Pereira versus Strickland. If Strickland won, they would have had a great fight in Madison Square Garden. But come on. This main event was, was sick. These two were going at it. I'll leave the description to the original creator of this clip down below. But it was great. Sean Strickland's so versatile. He he has great striking. He's patient. He doesn't get touched often. And you, you can't impose your wrestling on him. You just can't. He's so good. He's so good everywhere. And I think he has a recipe for a Bisping story. He can be one of those guys who, who just catches the big punch or, or jabs his way and stays so composed all the way to a great decision over a fucking amazing fighter like Israel or Alex Pereira. I want to see him fight for the title so bad. I want to see him fight, period. Bring him, bring him, bring him fights, 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 fights. The dude is amazingly entertaining and so damn talented. I'm telling you, the rise of Sean Strickland has begun. It has begun, and it's not a pretty one. But it's going to be a thing of beauty when it's all said and done. Let's talk about the main card. It was so awesome. We're going to bar stool the entire event. We do this on a weekly basis. We we let you guys know what we thought about it. The grading criteria is already set in stone. You guys already know it. But let's do this. One thought. Everyone knows the rule. UFC Vegas fight night. UFC Apex 67 gets a 6-2. I think it was a, a good show, the comeback event. You know, it was it was good. That's what I'd say about it. The main event was okay. A uh, nice story for the winner. And we had some rising stars. So, boom, that's my rating. It's the most prestigious rating in combat sports. Respect it. And let me know what you think, plain and simple. Now let's talk about our fighter of the week. He who shows up, she who shows up, or the fighter, period, who shows up in a remarkable way that we all want to talk about when it's said and done, possibly even more than the main event. And in this case, I'm giving it to Nurmagomedov, Bantamweight Umar. That dude's a beast. He's a killer. He's a he's a Dagestani wrestler who caught an amazing KO. And if you don't know why he's my pick, I'll show you why. Come on, Nurmagomedov. Can do it all. Shaiza, that was crazy. But let me tell you why it was crazy. This did not connect as a hit. With intent. This connected as just a hit. Just as a hit. Like, oh, let me throw this. That was not a KO hit. And he showed us he's got dynamite in them hands. Shout out to my guy, Namago Medov. Phantom Weight, Namago Medov, I call him. You're the fighter of the week. Kobe Show Combat MMA is fighter of the week. Congratulations. You did amazing. You deserve all the love, all the respect. What an amazing event, guys. Our picks, I don't really want to talk about it because our parlay did not do amazing. We had the first bust of the year. We had Kaylin Vieira, Connelly Soriano, both money lines, and the main event to go to the third round. <sighs> I failed you guys. I'm sorry our parlay was shot down bad, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to come back even stronger for the Brazil card. I promise to win everybody their money back. And I promise to bring a parlay that we all could be throwing cash at. So make sure you guys tune in next week for that. I will drop that video next week, Friday or Saturday. I'm trying to think of what day is best for the show. But we're also going to have our casual picks next week. My uh, producer of the show, Tamio, Tom Usurp, who had a perfect, perfect, perfect predictions for the UFC 282 main card. Do crush it. We're going to have them on again next week. Be sure to stick around for that. Ladies and gentlemen, Kobe Show Combat MMA Show. I'm here because I love MMA. You're here because you love MMA. We broke down all the goods. We rekindled some good shit. 
and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope the show out.